Both Brands brothers tripping in his ear, telling him good things, I'm sure, after his match. And we're ready to go. 133 pounds. Nick Suriano in the red. Austin Santo in the black. A rematch of their dual meet. And we got hands in the face already. I didn't see it call. Oh, no. Right? I don't know if that was an actual hands in the face call. And that sets a physical tone for two physical wrestlers. For Suriano, dropped a match, dropped the match in the duel. The Santo beat him at Carver Hawkeye. Late takedown. Pace was a factor. We'll see if it's a factor here. From Suriano, you want an early takedown and a ride. You don't want to feel that heat from neutral for seven minutes. Most guys will. He's got a little while before his next match. Hand low. Suriano keeps a, a higher stance than most. Doesn't have a big bend in his knees like most guys. Doesn't bend at the waist a ton. It makes him able to really quickly snatch high single legs. He's got great foot speeds. Soriano wants that right inside control and that left. He likes to keep his left free so he can fire off a sweep. A fireman's left side or a post high crotch. And it's Soriano trying to block off as, as DeSanto. Taking a little bit of ground here. Two minutes to go. Good snap there by Suriano. Fake by DeSanto. No real committed attacks at this point. Just over a minute down in this bout. But the physicality is there. Suriano did a great job. Talking about nice single leg. Trying to come out the back door. Now he's got him standing. I don't know why he comes standing here. Unless he wanted to DeSanto's got an arm trapped. So he went. He didn't like over the top. Suriano's been able to get to the right legs of elite guys. He got to Mitrich's right leg, got to DeSanto's there. Struggling to finish. There's a shot by DeSanto. Reattack. He's in deep. He's in a similar position. The arm's trapped. The arm's not locked, but it's trapped. Better position this time. Suriano's going to score this, I think. And then indeed, they call it a takedown. Nick Suriano strikes first. The ride here is essential. Can Suriano get it? DeSanto's up to his feet already. He's going to commit to this ride, but he's got to be careful. He don't want to get hit for stalling. He comes up to his feet. This is smart, but look at that. He's trying to, was he waving no, the No, I think he, he wants to show, I think he wants to show he can't return from that position. Got it. He's not trying to get the crowd pumped. He's like, he, he, a smart wrestler from Suriano. He knew the count was coming. If he comes to his feet, the count stops. But he also knows he has to return, too. So he wanted to show, hey, I can't return this guy like this. I think that's a wise stalemate in that scenario. 2 nothing. a minute to go. Riding time up at 25 seconds in favor of Suriano climbing. Suriano looked excellent against Lee Zach. 9-2 win. Was up 9-0 and gave up a late, late, late turn. DeSanto up to his feet. Looking for hand control. 37 to go. La, nice lift and return. He's got him flat on his belly. Good ride here. Riding time at 49 seconds and climbing for Nick Suriano. Suriano setting the tone with the takedown and a hard ride here. He's seen DeSanto on his belly, is on his knees, his head's on the mat. Body language towards uh, Suriano thus far here in the first. And this is huge, not only in the riding, the riding time, it's up 2-0 into the second, but not that it's 2-0 just yet. Santo coming up and he can jump down, but there's not five seconds left. Smart ride for Soriano. And the point I was gonna make is, Soriano didn't have to feel that heat from neutral for the full three minutes. And Tahanta kind of looks at his coach and says, what do I do if it's my choice? He took me down, he rode me. I, th I think it's neutral. He's gonna cut him. Well, he's actually going back and forth. We'll see what he does. He kind of threw the optional start signal on his coaches. Looked like they debated it now. It appears as though he's going to try to ride. They want him to uh, escape immediately. 3-0, minute 17 of riding time for Suriano. Good start, but there's a lot of match to go here. Four full minutes. Santos got him to the edge. He shoots in on it, but now circling left. And that's where Suriano likes to reattack. He likes to circle hard to that left. And he's got him on the edge. Good snap. Snap Suriano to his hands. Still controlling the center is DeSanto. It's still pressing forward is Austin DeSanto. 
Suriano likes to work from space outside. He kind of dances like a boxer a little bit. Kind of, you never know where he's coming or going. He doesn't want to stay tied up. But DeSanto doesn't give you much of a choice as he gets to that collar. He's got a big old bite. And now Suriano clearing, and he's pawing at the head a little bit too. 105 to go. Suriano peek, sneaks a peek at the clock, reads 101. Just on the way on the back one. 141 pounds. Minnesota's Mitchell McKee. Iowa's Max Perrin. More snaps from DeSanto. One thing Suriano's got to watch is his hands to the face. He likes to paw and check distance, but one errant hand's a point. Thumb block, there's a shot, but he hasn't got his hands locked on a single as DeSanto. Now it looks like Suriano's more content to squeeze in this position here than run his feet to the left. Now up to his feet, 24 to go. As you can see, Suriano's got that right hand in control where he likes to be. And what's a good job switching position there by Suriano as he was nearly about to back out of bounds. Short time left in the period, seven to go. I don't think we're gonna see another attack. We've been passed oh, by. See that. He's in. Two seconds, so no finish coming here. We're gonna take. We're gonna go 3 0 117 of riding time. Oh boy. And a little something, something there. Oh, just a tad bit of excitement. Nothing to get. Nothing to get wound up about. Santo getting that headgear figured out. And now who's, what position is DeSanto gonna go? And I think DeSanto a little upset because he knows Time's, time's a waste, and, and these quick finishes, or these uh, long breaks aren't good for him. Yeah, he's, a, he's all about pace. Tom came up, brought a new headgear. Oh, dang. From the other corner, he's coaching the other, he's coaching a different man. Oh, man. He found a headgear somewhere, brought it over. Big idea. Austin. NCAA wrestling, they don't need headgear, it's fine. So this, you saw this while you're at it. DeSanto gonna go under. Ryan time already at 117. He knows he's gotta get away and get away quick. Suriano is not gonna give this escape up easy. DeSanto fighting here, pressure him back. Suriano gives nothing. And he covers back on top, changes sides. And Drops down to the leg, nice now job. this should count. Yep, two. That's gonna take this stalling is Suriano. They're just gonna let it go. Oh, did I see a locked hands? Oh, this could be, oh, wait. Okay, I did not see a locked hands. When they do this, that means this is the signal for a uh, drop down. Explain to people what you're doing. So, hand it, on the wrist. It looks like they're signaling lock hands, but they're not grabbing hands, they're grabbing the wrist. That's the signal for the drop down stall. So, Soriano still riding. And he's away. 204 riding time. It's all but locked for Soriano. The Santa riding forward hard here, takes a shot. He's gonna take a few more. He's got time. DeSanto's gonna get a little two. physical. One, three! One for DeSanto, no oh, smoke! Oh! Now he's within a takedown. And that pace is coming, and there's still a minute to go. That's plenty of time for Austin DeSanto. And now we're gonna see Soriano start to retreat a little bit. It's a little early to put on the roller skates. Soriano needs, and he's been warned from stalling. DeSanto's got his holds here, he's moving him around. Suriano can't evade like this. 
He's going to give up a stall point if he doesn't stay engaged. And now that underhook's big sweep single. Good job down block by Nick Suriano there. 25 to go. He's got And there you have it, Nick Suriano 